Hey, what's up? Giuseppe Camarasa here. Welcome to the first devlog of Galactic Work Strike. And Galactic Work Strike is the game that I've been making for the last few months. It's a mix of a uh, Narconoid and a shoot 'em up. Um, and it's physics based, meaning that you have to hit the ball hard in order to get it higher, right? So that's the base of the game. Um, in the game, you will get upgrades of all kinds and you will have to try to get as much score as you can while defeating all the enemies, all the bosses, whatever. At the moment I only have a few levels and the boss um, so let's let's see what what the game is about. So as you can see I can hit the ball so I can make it go wherever I want. Games enemies are coming so here's the first enemy and there is the second enemy uh, so at the moment I'm going to try to hit it uh, while not getting hit by the by the bullets and without the ball falling down right so now I have finished away um, and some things appear on the screen right first um, these little shiny things which are coins or gems and they just give score so you'd have to try to collect as many of them as you can in order to get a higher score and these two uh, pickups uh, that are called boosts um, boosts provide you with an increment of stats like more damage or more speed or more length whatever um, so let's try to pick one of them and see what happens okay now as you can see now my like, player is bigger so it's easier to to hit the ball this is thanks to the boost I just picked as you can see it appears right here so another wave comes Try to hit them. Okay, there goes one and there goes two. Now, as you can see, um, here is the the current combo I have. So I have killed two enemies, um, which give me the two, uh, the x2 multiplayer multiplier. And so here's the score. So when I hit the ball like this. Um, all the score comes up. So now I pick the boost, uh, the damage boost, which gives me plus one uh, on on damage. So now I have finished the level, and I can choose an upgrade. Uh, an upgrade is is a, it's generally a, a weapon of or one of one kind or another. Um, so now I'm going to try, for example, the kinetic gun, right? As you can see now, I'm able to shoot. Um, the 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 characteristic of the kinetic gun is that you can only shoot while you move. So you can you have to try to hit the ball, and will, while it's in the air, you have to move in order to kill the enemies, right? Like this. So I'm going to pick another scale uh, increase boost. Now I'm I as you can see now I'm really I'm really really big, so it's easier to hit the ball. Right. Note that I'm slowing the the game in order to show you stuff. So now more more enemies appear. As you can see, things are getting harder. So I try to hit the enemies while I move, so I can shoot the kinetic gun. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to finish these ones over here. There you go. Level. Now I'm going to pick this one. It it uh, increases the speed, so now I'm faster when moving laterally, which gives me um, more time to react. So now I have to choose another upgrade. Um, now I'm going to choose the electric ball, which in my opinion is one of the more useful ones in order to defeat the regular enemies, even if not that useful against the boss because as you can see the electric ball hits wherever things are close to it 
so you don't have to aim that well in order to hit enemies now because as you can see it shoots like electric rays there you go as you can see that's it I'm going to pick another damage boost oh no I missed it damn <laughs> Another important thing to note is that boosts disappear once you lose a life, so it's really important to keep a good streak and not and not let the ball fall down or get hit by an enemy. So we keep killing more enemies. There we go. I, I, it for me it's really satisfying the damage numbers I added. And now I'm going to get this this boost. This boost gives you another ball, but more importantly, gives you more score, right? So uh, if I was playing a run where I want to get as much score as I can, I would probably sacrifice another boost that is more useful for this one that gives me more score. See also the two balls at the same time are really powerful if you have the electric ball. They are have some good synergy. And now I'm going to pick the damage increase boost because for me it's it's more useful because I'm not, not going to get the, as much score as I can but um, but as, as safe as I can right now I want to to show you this this portal right here. It's the end of the game portal as you have seen before. I'm really proud of how it looks. What do you think? Do you think it looks cool or um, is it clear what it does? Um, I'm really proud of it, but all feedback is welcome. So if you have an opinion on it, just let me know. So let's go straight into it. So now I have uh, different options. I could upgrade, um, get a new upgrade, the laser one, or increase the level of the upgrades I already have. In my case, I want to get the laser because I want to show you uh, more types of weapons. But it's uh, but but it's a good choice also to get to, to increase the levels of the ones you already have if you are more comfortable with the ones you have and you don't want to uh, use another different uh, upgrade. As you can see, uh, the the laser what does is that once the ball hits the bat, a laser comes out and you can hit enemies with it. This is really good because it can uh, it penetrates through enemies, so you can hit multiple multiple enemies at once. And also it gets to the top of the screen and you can aim it. So let's say that you are here, it's easier to, to just keep the ball safe and hit the enemies like this. Also it's really good. Oh, I've been hit. As you can see, I've been hit by an enemy and I, I've lost all the boosts. So I have to start collecting them again from scratch. So I pick the damage boost so I get a small increase in damage. And let's proceed to kill all the enemies. That's right. Perfect. I will pick this one. It's, it's closer. Sometimes it's hard to to get one of them, so it's easier to get the other one. And I don't want to risk it because I have only two lives left. We are really close to the boss, guys. So where are we going? Okay, now, now we are approaching the the boss. The boss is called uh, Sagittar. It's a bulwark. Bulwarks are bosses in this game. Bulwarks are colossal structures that um, 
try to keep you from progressing uh, close to your target. Um, this, this game at the moment doesn't have that much story, I have planned uh, a little bit, but for now I can't say anything about it. So yeah, we are getting to the boss. The boss, this boss has two types of of weapons: the missile, la the missile launcher, and the missile launcher and the uh, cannon. As you can see, I can hit different parts. Let's see, let's see this in slow motion. I can hit one part or another. So the best strategy to defeat the boss actually is to uh, focus on one one arm like this you see I have killed it so now I focus on the other arm in order to uh, to be able to, to make the boss not having missiles right so now the only thing left is to kill the central part which is quite easy and yeah as you can see I have to finish the boss and I will proceed to the to the next level. For now this is all the content I have, um, I hope you like it, uh, I plan on adding new content but first I'm trying to finish the, the, the game design to polish stuff but I think I have a really a really solid core um, so when I'm satisfied with, the, with what I have I will I will actually send keys to people who, who want to try my game on Steam. I will put a I will put a closed beta in Steam. So if you are interested on getting a key and joining the Discord channel and giving me feedback and play the game and get the chance to get a key of the final game, just let me know here in the comments or or in the tick source forum or whatever and and I, I will provide you with a close beta key if if you're interested so that's all thank you so much for watching and see you on the next level of devlog see ya